forward, not forward, not forward, not forward. Back. Oh. Movement will not stop this. Oh, and she really kicked the last farrier hard. Okay, really hard. It's just so hard seeing horses that are this scared. What do you think? And then I rode in. Needle shy horses, vet shy horses in general, horses that don't want to be trimmed and, and potentially very dangerous horses when uh, having their feet handled. It's in this, it's all in this, uh, this video guys. So if you've got a horse like that, even if you haven't, it's just a good video. Uh, so guys, picture. It is uh, the 19th today as I'm doing this video, but it'll go on a few days later. This particular video it is, Tanya thinks I, I would have forgot. It says our 41st um, wedding anniversary today as I'm doing this video. So I'll put, put that picture there. And me and Tanya, I think we've known each other for 43 or 44 years now. So it's been a long road uh, and uh, yeah, happy anniversary. Right, just so you can see the picture a bit closer, guys. That's only a, two or three years ago when me and Tanya redid our wedding vows in Las Vegas in uh, a Cadillac. Um, and Elvis, Elvis's Cadillac, apparently. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really good. Really enjoyed that. So yeah, that's the, which picture it is. And who deserves the medal? Definitely Tanya. <laughs> Without a doubt, definitely Tanya deserves the medal. But uh, right, and I'm just going to quickly say, while I'm noticing that there, what a lovely sweatshirt this is. This is from a guy I met, Chris Cole. I met him when I did a brief little bit of showing. And I always remember, and I never forgot it, Chris was really nice to me. And I showed against him, I think it was about four or five times. And I always remember how nice he was, complimentary about my horsemanship, just got on really well with him. He used to be in the King's Troop um, in London. That's what he used to be, a cavalryman. And uh, I just got on well with him. And he he, he asked me, he said, Steve, I've got this um, little thing going on. He's, he's He's got a lovely logo. I think that's a lovely logo. You've got English and Western, uh, Cole and Co. And he sent me these and I said, I'll definitely wear one. So guys, look him up. Cole & Co, got lovely sweatshirts, t-shirts, and other things in he's brewing. It's people that sell things, um, and he is worth uh, looking at and buying off. So thank you, Chris, for them, and uh, yeah. Quick mention about our demo we did last week, and uh, that was in uh, Essex. Thank you, everyone who turned up. It was an amazing crowd of people turned up. The demo went really, really, really great, and uh, we had a really interesting bunch. Obviously, I worked my own in the morning and explained my process of of horse riding and groundwork but in the afternoon we had three great horses for the demo and i'm going to show you a little tiny clip of them now the horses that we had for the demo it was really really good demo uh, uh really well received Every, i think most people learned something to add to their toolbox here's a little clip of that nice oh here's the lovely rolex um, riding him there with just just a, a halter to start with. And then I'm going to stop him and put the bit in. It's not all about the mouth. Oh. Oh, lovely. And then... What do you think? And then I rode him. What I'm going to do now is lift my hand, put my outside leg back, and I've just got a travers. Did anyone see that? Right circle. Now I've changed to the left circle. So I'm going to come back up to the fence. That there. Now I'm going to just rub on him, tell him to slow down because that was beautiful sort of thing, you know. So I've got him. Three and a half I year know old. I'm going to be able to put Chevy. A raincoat um, on. Aren't second I? time he's been out, really anywhere like that. First time in an indoor arena ever, and I'm still riding him in a halter at the moment. But pretty soon I'll be with, transferring with to the bit and back him up. Oh, he's beautiful. Three and a half. I think I did the first ever canter here ever on him in an indoor arena. There you go, look, straight into a little canter. And he didn't get excited, he just... Yeah! A little bit, stop lovely. That's his first canter in an indoor arena. I left him. So I might have gone 18, big Benji. We've 19, had him on drive, a lot of demos. drive, one, two. And I, he's a great horseman to show 
softening. And then this was a little lead rain that was biting people, not kicking forward, people. Not forward, not forward. And he, he was Back. quite no, no, hard, not, uh, not to crack there really, but we got some really good, he was a little bit lost and we got through quite a lot. Any better? Movement will and then not this stop horse, this. recently imported Movement from Ireland, couldn't be sprayed. This. What's that buck. mean? I want him to and move got now. Him I'm spraying him. Spray there, guys. I'm spraying him. And then if we got moves, him ridden. One rain stops, would... went through everything yeah, with him. And rain. there you go, there's you Chloe getting back on her halflinger. She hadn't rode him, for it wouldn't. she was frightened to ride him because he was quite explosive. And there you go. Now, if anyone wants to see the full day demo uh, with all these videos, um, then you just hop along to the um, subscribers channel and just stay a little while. It's relatively cheap and you can see all of those. Yeah, that was quite a busy, busy demo that was, guys. But everyone loved it. Like I say, everyone learned something, something to add to their toolbox. Now, what I'm showing here is... This is our next demo. We're only doing one more after the, this, and I think it's in the north, up north of England, somewhere up there. The, but this one is is around the Midlands area. It's Solio Riding Club. Uh, it's a it's a lovely place. All the facilities are there. We're in the main indoor arena, so we're in the main one. You have to bring a chair, obviously, for that. But uh, yeah, if you can book on that, Tanya's doing the book. You know, taking the names now. So message Tanya. That will be a great demo as well. And uh, Tanya will have the shop there and everything. So, yeah, we've got that one to do and then just one more. Uh, that's in the UK anyway. So, okay, we're back to the main video now and I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, Charlotte. Hello. <laughs> well, what a crappy Charlotte, day. I was just about to say Charlotte Young. Yeah. But I can't anymore, can I? No. Because it is that's now. Me. Who's that? It is now. Yeah. Charlotte James. Yeah. Um, a very, very big wedding, Charles. Massive, yeah. <laughs> you got any pics? <laughs> a couple. It was just a quiet, that's what Dan wanted. Yeah. Um, I think if we'd done it before the kids and before yeah. the house, we would have had right the left. big wedding, yeah. But we just didn't need it. No. Right, so, okay, Charlotte James, you're coming with me this morning. Yep. On a my visit. My horses, I've rushed to you, my horses are still out. Yeah, it's your job, Charles. Yeah. So. They are my priority. <laughs> right, so you're coming with me today for a reason. I believe a lot of people yeah, have got. <laughs> Because mum's busy. Yeah, well, you or mum, uh, we thought it was a good idea to film this today. A lot of people have got horses with phobias of a, of a vet and yeah. phobias of injections. Yeah. Now, this horse I met, um, oh, I did try to cancel, by the way, today because I don't think it's a good idea doing it in this weather. Mm -hmm. It's horrendous, but uh, apparently... Um, this, You're a fair this, weather worker. Well, no, this horse is... <laughs> is um, very, very lethargic, apparently. It needs blood tests. Uh, so the vet said, we need to get blood. Problem is, right, I met this horse. It was an abandoned mare. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a story. I think it was about 18 months ago I met this horse. And um, her her owner had... I don't really know where to look. Well, I'll just look at where we go in. OK. Smile. <laughs> uh, her owner has, done, has um, rescued two horses. This is one of them and she was has been a real real handful right from the beginning a serial rearer striking out oh. the vet couldn't get near it got to the stage where even the farrier got kicked really hard and he didn't want to come anymore uh, so it, a complete mess this horse obviously had hurt somebody because it was abandoned on a highway i'll show a few clips of my first couple of visits and we really did well with the, with the horse guys so here's a few clips from the previous visits I'd done. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite something. Oh, last resort is rear or kick? Yeah, sedator, right? She could really hurt the back. She Stop. Back to way. Come.
Oh, she loves this. It's nearly all gone. We should have bought two. <laughs> That's a nice picture. Uh, I would say she struck some people with the front foot in the past, I would say. I'm sure she has. Okay, I so think again. When Niall had her in the rescue first, um, he said she just used to rear up at him all the time. Yeah. Not come in. Yeah, she wouldn't do that with me. See, I'd have to get out of her way. She'd be walking straight through me. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, she's shown me that there is hope. Good. That's the main thing. I mean, I, I thought there was. I, I thought there was some hope. That's how it all goes. Well, I'm not giving up on this. Wow. Is that the best you felt around her, really? Do that, would you say? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice picture, that is. That's awesome. Okay, back to the video, guys. So, yeah, guys, that's something, isn't it, those clips? Uh, but gradually, with, with work and um, sympathetic work, but, you know, making sure the space factor's there, things have got better. And me and Dan have been going and shoeing this horse now. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, trimming the horse without problem, other than he did, she did once attack Dan. Never went through with it, but almost bit him. Um, and that's the first time she met him. But gradually, we can go now. We go every couple of months, trim her with no, with no real issues. Now, today is different. Today is a vet visit to take bloods, but also Dan's gonna come and trim as well. So it's like a double whammy. So I'm going half an hour before. A family affair today. Yeah, I'm going before, do a tiny little bit of groundwork, see where we're at, and then the vet will come after Dan has trimmed. Now the last vet visit, I for, for whatever reason, I couldn't make it, and the vet came, not this vet, it was a different vet, and it went terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Um, you know, it was an admission that I should have been there, and, and it was done without me, and it didn't go well at all. So, there was a lot of rearing. I, I, I have no idea what we're going to have in the weather and trying to get injections into it today. Let's see how we get on. I've got my ideas of what to do. It's not ideal. The ideal would be for me to have this horse for probably a couple of weeks and then gradually. Yeah, but we don't there. have horses no, at we home don't. I could, we, Well, I don't have time anyway now. Oh, we're always out. So, see how it goes, guys. We've got a nice little trip now. It's about 40 minutes to get there and then uh, yeah there we go now I'll say who um, the names are because I just I don't think Sarah's gonna mind usually I don't like to say names but the horse's name's Willow um, she's name's Willow and it's Sarah who rescued these couple of horses and has worked so hard to to keep them going so I just thought so oh my life Charlotte's getting worse oh and there's guess what Charlotte I didn't tell you what it's it's outside, uh -oh. in a muddy field. Oh, uh -oh. nice. I don't yeah. think I, I haven't even got full on wellies. Oh, yeah. I've only got short ones. <sighs> She's all right if I go round her. Eh? Right, Dan. <laughs> oh dear. Loving life, Woo! Loving life yes. I'm stuck. Charlotte's dying for a week. <laughs> what are you doing, Charlotte? Well, I, I tried to get around the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a little Hello. toilet in, in there. There we go. Right then, so so we're going to do the trimming first. Now usually I would use feed Dan. I'm not today. No. Is that a surprise? I'm not using you feed. Do what you, you do what you do. <laughs> yeah, but Dan, the reason... Oh, that's all very nice and neat, Dan. That's lovely. Oh, that's what you picked up from ours yeah. the other day. Oh, that's very good. Um, now, yeah, so usually I would use feed, uh, well, you know, the, the licks. Today I'm saving the licks so she doesn't get bored of them, ready for the vet. So we're going to see I'm how... more important than the vet. You are more important than the vet. Surely. But uh, it's just, I, I just need to save that, the, the need for that, um, for, the, for, the, for the vet. So, okay, right. Ready then? Right, so okay, so what? why are the blood tests, just to inform me? Uh, Cushing's, uh, she started the send about a few weeks ago, so I checked the is... Right, so she's desperate for these blood tests. And you're saying she won't walk on from there at the moment? No, I didn't have to get her from the 
you had trouble, so she won't, uh, so there's something going on, guys. So, okay. Right. So, she won't come up here for you. Uh, okay. 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 So I'm going to release her foot forward there and then see if she'll follow. Right. There. Right. Okay. Okay, did you see me then release her foot to the side a little bit? Dan, where would you like her? Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, so she needs... Oh, sorry, sorry. She needs looking at, she needs blood tests. Um, okay, right. Was she lame then? She's, she's lame, yeah. she's, yeah, she needs uh, looking at. She's looking for a lick now, look. Aww. She's looking for a lick, unfortunately, but I can't, I want to use that for the vet. So as long as we can kind of get away with it, then. Uh... No, I've the got The wind's really coming towards you. Good angle here. Okay. She's obviously sore on the other three, see? Yeah, she's still very pottery. <coughs> what was wrong with her? She's had laminitis on her. Oh. That's why like she's trying to take get the kids' the goggles out of the car, uh, swimming. Uh, okay, so things are starting to sort of fall apart a little bit. It's not all filmed, or it was, but you could when the rain goes on the lens, you couldn't see anything. But yeah, things are getting a little bit not dangerous at the moment, but you know, it's starting to fall apart. That's why now I'm gonna start using the lick, um, which kind of she is very food orientated and she loves those licks. And she's never given those licks unless we trim. So she, when 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 she starts, it kind of mesmerizes her. Um, so we're about. I didn't want to do that because I want to leave that for when for, for put the needles in with the vet because I know she's horrendous with that. So, but I I said to Dan, shall we? He said yes, please. So you'll see exactly how I use that now. Um, yeah, that's why I have to I have to use that now to keep things get things back on track. Oh, no. As she picks it up, uh, she didn't pick it up. No, she picked it up. Now, if she struggles, Dan, tell me, and I'll take this away. It's a nice shelter you've got, isn't it? No, this just it's helps. Really guys. nice, yeah. And they use it a lot. It's not they, allowing her to take feet from my hand, and she's not there, pushing so through good. me. Oh, yeah. But there's sometimes I prefer not to do this, but sometimes. You just have oh, to great. bite the bullet, and um, she is food motivated, so it can help. And as she struggles with a foot away from Dan, she'll lose this. The timing has to be pretty good, but already that's helping already. We she's thought we had that the other the day, foot. didn't we? And then it's she, done this to us again. She's leaving it there because she remembers before quite a lot that I've took it away from her when she struggled with her feet, tries to take them away. It's only when she accepts the foot oh, being trimmed lodge. that she has the pleasure from this oh, get that bit. from this lick there we go. Um, and these licks are not um, got that much sugar in they have got sugar in oh but, she's the um, other side yeah. no, but the amount that they lick it's not a problem the sugar the amount they lick on an average serving Oh, right, okay. Now, the foot's down. She didn't take the foot away, but the foot's down, so she loses the lick because the foot's down. When the foot's up and acceptance, then she gets the lick. Tell me when, Dan. 
So Dan will tell me when. And now she can have the lick. I should come this side, really, Dan. You want me that side, OK. How old is she, Sarah? She's a rescue, but her passport says 12. So this is where a farrier earns their earns their money, don't they, on this weather when they go out. So I'm trying to shield her face as well here, guys. I've got something in my back pocket here, which is a horse by the sound, by the feel of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm shielding all of the rain from her, see? No, foot's down. I've took the lick away. So what I might do now, and just I've backed her off one pace there, so I don't want her pushing, pushing for this feed. That's so important to make sure you get a step back. So the next foot. Yeah. <laughs> And then she Dad, every time gets you put the lick. the lick behind your back, the other uh, pony no, gets it. No, she's got it. the wind, unfortunately, but that's... If I stand about here, then I'm sh shielding her face for her, so she can enjoy that without all the rain going on her. No, I thought she would be improving on Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Wait, now I'm waiting here. Now Dan's Aww. taking his time. And now, foot's up. Now we can have the lick. Now we can have the lick. This is working perfectly. <laughs> but guys, you've got to be careful making sure these horses, if you're going to use this. Now, if you look here, guys, it's so important. I, I try to read these signs of when a horse is telling us something, he, she's not happy there. Now, bearing in mind, she really kicked the last farrier hard, okay, really hard. Um, and can you see Dan here? He is not continuing what he's doing because he knows, he knows the signs that she is swishing her tail, not happy at all. So Dan's waiting, <laughs> she nearly flicks his hat off, but that's, why Dan's doing that, he's waiting. Uh, and I think I told him as well, just hang on a minute, Dan. So he's waiting here until she starts to settle down. She's warning, look at her ears there, a little bit back there. And I was very close to uh, telling Dan to to put the foot down. I was gonna back her up a little bit, but uh, you know, you have to read horses, you learn to read horses. And I think she'll quieten her tail down in any second now. And, uh, but it's really visible, isn't it? She sh that's how horses commit, you know. That's the only way they can tell us. They can, they can pin their ears, they can shake their heads, they can swish their tails, and obviously they can kick, head, butt, bite. But uh, these are the warning signs. So there, look, the tail's gone quiet. Can you see there? Tail's gone quiet. Dan now starts to take the foot, I think, um, and then he continues his work. But you have to wait, wait that through because you don't want to get hurt. Humanise horses too much, and that's the problem. Um, that is the problem. Hey mate, you're oh. missing out. She's missing out, isn't she? Huh? She's a very big, chunky, chunky one as well, isn't she? She doesn't suffer with laminitis. So far, such wood. She's yeah. Lots of wood. Yeah. That's Solid. Careful, like doing this. Is that it, Dan? Yeah. Okay, right. You know, it's like swishing a lot yeah, more yeah. than normal. If you've got a lot of mud on your face where she swished you with her um, tail. So, um, Dan, are you in a rush to get off? No well, I'm just going to try some, some things here. Ready for the vet? No, well, all right. <laughs> I'm not paying. <laughs> right, if you have this lick, but you've got to get your timing right for me. And then pass me, see that there? That can be just behind the, so I can get what I need from it. Right, see how she's pushing on me now here? So I'm just gonna, you, you know. But I've got the tools to do that from the previous work to, to, to back her off. Right, Em, um, so. Hmm? Still back up 
Oh, good. That's good. That's good, Sarah. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch. Yeah. As I pinch her neck, I want you to give it, right? Okay, so get ready. Ready? One, two, three, go. One. Give it, give it it. Give it it. Take it away. All right? All right? Okay. And the same again. Get ready. Yeah. One, two, three. Give it. So I'm pinching her neck here. Take it away. Now, I know she's sore, but I'm going to just move her a little bit here. And I move her so it's going to start being more attractive to get ready. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, loose. When she's on the soft, she can move better. Yeah? yeah? Oh. Yeah. Right. Get ready. One, two, three, go. So I'm pinching quite hard now. Okay. Yeah. Do you see when I first started, she was a bit funny. Okay. And then one, two, three, take away. All right. Now I'm going to press this in now. Yeah. All right. So one, two, three, go. Take away. Okay. One, two, three, go. Now I'm pressing this quite hard now. What is it? It's a little cow pole <laughs> thing. Take away. All right, it's a little cow pole thing. Now obviously I haven't got the stick, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it, about that in a second. Right, one, two, three. Right, I need to wipe the screen. Okay. Again. One, two, three. Actually go. Yeah. Right now. Stuff in there she shouldn't be eating. Oh yes. She's you little booger. Uh, right. I want that She's now. A I want that feed. I want the feed now. Bought a little bit, a tiny little bit of feed, which she's going to love. Now, now I just wanted to back off me a little bit there. Look at her feet, yeah. Now I asked her to back up there, guys, because I could already feel it doesn't take long for a mare like Willow. If you start, you know, making food a part of the training, um, and you would never let this let willow take feed from your hand it, it would could very well be disastrous if she got the wrong ideas about us um but yeah i asked her to i could feel her coming towards me wait waiting her front end up so there i've asked her to put her weight on her hocks and and, and move back a little bit it's really important uh, for me especially with a mare like this one hmm? you don't need me now do you yeah because now i'm putting a little my wife's here what I've got is a little toothpick okay now I'm going to press in the toothpick that'll in that'll probably hurt more than an injection huh that'll probably hurt more than an injection well no I'm, it's the flat end but I'm gonna I wanted to feel that initial but we're gonna give her that let her just for two three seconds have the feed now you with me so if you clear out so it's just the feed in there and she'll go for that all right okay keep it behind your back right one two uh, uh, one two three go and again there guys she took it into her own hands to move forward into our space and go for the feed and i'm onto that immediately you have to with a mare like this that's been aggressive struck out people kick farriers bit people so there, look, I asked Dan to move it back. So that didn't do it for her by going forward and on us for the feed. So that's why I did that. Then when her weight was on her hocks, then allow, allow the horse to have it. Really important. Um, okay, a perfect opportunity at this point in this video for me to stop everything and explain 
about hand treating. It's it's uh, it's something that you know what it's the one of the biggest uh, most asked questions for us is what do we think about hand feeding? What do we think about should we click and treat train? It's asked all the time, and I always try to say to people about a third of our horses that we go to is where that kind of train has gone wrong. Now I'll explain my feelings on it all now. I haven't really done this properly yet, but I think it's time. It's literally minutes we've been using the feed with Willow and already Willow is starting to push on us, starting to have the wrong ideas about us, starting to get annoyed with us. All of that starting and it, it's because now he's disconnecting from me and Dan and just connecting with the food. That's what's starting to happen already. That's why, you know, with Willow, it's a very, very short term thing with Willow that I only use it to kind of get his mind off things of the aggression. And it's definitely helped the way I do it, it's helped. But can you imagine if you, a horse like that, that's aggressive, if you click and train that one, I can tell you something, it would go horribly wrong. Now, of course, I know people hand feed, right? I catch Mel now and again, I catch Charlotte now and again. That's, look, I'm not against that, but I always do ask people to back their horses up, ask your horse to yield, give them a treat, ask them to yield after. And I, I say all the time, don't hand feed your horses. Don't, I say it all the time. I know people will still do it, but hopefully by me keep saying that, people do it a little bit less and have a little bit more thought about when they do do it. Because guys, it is uh, getting down to the science of these things. And, and my science is thousands of years of horse training passed down through the ages, through the generations and all the good being took from all of those generations of millions, experiencing millions of horses and ending up at where we are. That is the true science of this, guys. That is true science, not short term little studies with nothing long term and usually done by people who don't know front to a back of a horse. Very few of these scientists that do these things. But the, looking at it, if you, if you do, more people are getting interested in science these days. Really, the science shows that when we use feed constantly for, for horses, you know, you can combine a, a click or a whistle with it. So that's clicker training or whistle training or target and treat training. What you're actually doing is producing a pleasure hormone, which is dopamine. And that's why a lot of us do it, because by giving our treat to our horses, we get pleasure from it. It releases dopamine. You don't want dopamine um, when you're trying to train a horse because it one, it disconnects them completely from us. They're just connected with the food and they can't learn much when their dopamine's being activated. It's a pleasure hormone. If anything, a learning, um, I don't get too deeply into this at all. You know, I'm not, some people are really interested in the science. I'm not, I'm interested in what works for me. But the serotonin, I know the serotonin, which is like a learning kind of um, um, chemical, but I'm not getting too deep into that. I just know what I know. And when you look throughout the best horsemen in the world at the moment, uh, alive today oh, and, and recently deceased. Uh, I could go through a whole, the best horsemen that I've ever met with the horses that were most at peace uh, and the most happiest horses. None of them condoned excessive hand treating. None of them. All, all of the best ones you can think of. Uh, don't do it. Won't do it. Now, yes, of course, there are some fields that can benefit from it i.e. amazing horsemen, they're amazing horsemen to start with, some circus trainers, some liberty actors, uh, liberty acts, amazing horsemen to start with. And they do use treats now and again. And they are so good at what they do, they recognize all the signs when things are getting too pushy, when when it's not having an adverse effect and it's, it's quelled like that. I mean, they've got their little whips and things and they know when a horse is pushing. The differences with the people who go and get hoodwinked into this kind of training, into that song and dance, they usually go in there because they're um, maybe not not very good at traditional horsemanship. So to start with, they ha haven't got too, too much good feel and they're kind of searching um, 
so you're already on a <laughs> you know you're already starting at the wrong the wrong place really so then we get into this positive and negative reinforcement <laughs> just you know you see it positive and the negative and guys what's positive for a horse the horse is the number one prey animal in the world. There's nothing like them. And what's important, their whole existence is to stay alive. Okay, so what's important to, to a horse is leadership. Leadership is what's important to a horse. Safety within that leadership. And obviously, it's dependence on us. They work that out, that they become dependent on us. And... Uh, you know, that's what a horse couldn't care less about its stable, what feed you're giving it, couldn't care less about anything like that. But how they feel in our presence is what means everything to them, everything. So that's what's positive reinforcement, is achieving that thought from the horse that we are um, a, a leader to them, that they can relax, they can have a quiet mind. I've very rarely seen quiet-minded horses around a click and a treat bag. It's it's just, I just, I notice these things incredibly, oh, I notice it, and I just feel so sorry for the horses. And the people who get kind of drawn into it through feelings, and what you're actually doing when you're allowing these horses to click, take feed, whistle, take feed, target, take feed, constantly allowing a horse to move into your space and take your feed, that really, doesn't sit well with horses and that it teaches the horse to have the wrong idea about it. You've only got to look at a herd of horses and look at the alpha horse. Um, yes, it's a partnership, but unfortunately we have to run the partnership else it's anarchy. It's going to be anarchy unless we run the partnership. That's life. That's the way it has to be with horses. But you look in a field of horses, a herd of horses, and you put a, you put a bucket of feed in there. Do you think that alpha, that one that runs that, you know, the lead horse, will allow all the others to go and have that feed? Huh. Not a hope. It revolves around, leadership revolves around space, the water, the best grass, the feed. That's what determines. And if another horse can go and take that feed, those horses will not respect that leader. That leader is no longer a leader. And that's what they, they thrive leadership, guys. They really do. You know, it's it's fe feelings a horse shouldn't really have about us is to take our feed, in, invade our space, take our feed constantly. And then when push comes to shove, the reason that's negative is because the majority of those horses end up in trouble because we've taught them the wrong ideas about us. We've taught them that. And then someone like me has to go around trying to pick up the pieces um, and even the horse has been put to sleep because of that dangerous caused by this, by this dopamine triggering wrong ideas kind of training. So for me, negative reinforcement is that kind of training in my book. So it's an opinion, uh, it is an opinion. That's negative, positive reinforcement is giving the horse what it needs within its psyche about a person and what a person represents to them and what we can give them that's most important to that amazing prey animal. And it's not tip it in. And it is not the best lorry you can find. It is not the best stable. Those kind of things, the air conditioned stable, that doesn't mean one thing to a horse. It's how we make them feel in our presence is what means the world. So just don't be, just be careful being sucked in guys. Just be careful. I've said my little bit now. I hope that will help some people uh, maybe relearn what they thought they knew or look uh, a little bit deeper. And I know people say to me they, they, that uh, Click and Treat Train, especially in the UK, have won awards. Well, yes, they have. And what a shame that is. Judged by Click and Treat Judge, who judges it all. So Click and Treat Trainer wins, then a Target and Treat Trainer wins, then another Click and Treat Trainer wins it's all in house guys and in my opinion and it's just an opinion there's no merit to it at all no merit and that that's from the heart that is guys you've only got to look a little bit deeper at some of these click and treat trainer owner horses that's how i learned i looked at 
train us own horses. That's how I learned. I used to get there early and watch them with the horses. Ray Hunt and Buck and all of those guys. And that's a massive list. And I used to get early and watch. That's how you learn. And, you know, a lot of these click and treat trainers, when you actually delve deep, they're, they're, things aren't that great when you really look at it. And when, when you know, award winners can't even ride their own horse, the badgers, out on a hack. And you can't even do that or show your horse in front of people other than in an arena where you've taught a few tricks. Then questions have to be answered. You know, that's in my opinion. Don't get hoodwinked. That's all I've got to say about it. A little bit of an emotional spiel there because it means so much to me because I see the, the damage it can do. So go ahead, give your horse a little treat now and again. I know that. I can say, I see Charlotte do it. Uh, but make sure they back up a little bit. and Don't excessively do it and don't, please, get in by a whistle or a click and start doing that sort of thing because you'll be sh quite surprised at uh, the damage you can do long term. Okay, back to the video. So I'm pressing this on now, right? One, two, three, go. See that? Right, so, ready? One, two, three, go. I wonder if the vet will let you do it. Take it away, take it away. They won't, no. Let her just finish that. Do you see how this is working? Yeah. Right, one, two, three, go. That's it. Right, put that away now, because we're going to have a bit of that left for the vet. I'm feeling quite confident. Oh gosh, somebody's Because that, I hope it's not she wouldn't have allowed that. Just check. That's like putting an injection in. No, it's just my friend. Uh, but obviously, in the ideal world, Whenever my phone rings in the me. ideal world, I'd do that for a couple of weeks before. You with me? Yeah. Uh, so, shall we let them off in here for a bit now? Okay. Yeah. That's all shut, isn't it? Um, let's put all my stuff out the way. Char, we're yeah. going to leave, leave it now till the vet comes. Yeah. So I don't want to overdo that. Yeah, I'll turn it off now. Okay. So the vet is here. There we go. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Did you, your eyes. Did you like me before? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> they phoned me just a little while ago about wanting somewhere uh, not muddy and dry for dentals. So I don't really mind about the dentals if you if you want to leave them for today. We can do them a later date. Yeah. Which is the most reactive? Willow. It is Willow. This is why Steve is here to yeah. hope. Well, we 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 trim. We just trimmed. Uh, Right, she was really, she got quite a history. Oh, I've, um, I've met her a few times. Yeah. Um, we definitely get on quite well. Yeah, yeah uh, 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 so Sarah's really just good. said, She's so, so you're good with you, but stuff. you've never put injection in, have you? We haven't done a sedation. No. This is my like, first time meeting her, yeah. and what you've just said, I didn't see that then. Like, as, like, being here after Dad's done it, you wouldn't have said she was that she was really good. She was good. Yeah. Really well, we were just good. trimmed her. She's particularly vet shy, though. Okay. Yes, she is. So she, as much as she is a very, very wary horse, she is particularly vet and needle shy. So she, she's had some horrible stuff in her life somewhere. Along yeah. The way, her. Yeah, it's all symptoms of causes. So what I've just done, just to, before you come, yeah. I've just done my little thing to try, because last, not long ago, that. It was dangerous for the vet who came. What was the vet who came? Um, Teresa. It was Teresa. She, she, uh, we wanted to, we were doing x-rays and yeah. trimming with the x-rays and Jack was a bit late so Teresa thought she'd get her stated straight away and, yeah. and it, didn't, it didn't go very well. It was she was boxing really and reading. Because I mean, I've always thought we would plan on doing IM sedation with her because it's less traumatic and it's something that we can do IM. But obviously blood sample, we can't. So what I've just done, I've just done my little thing yeah. to try and help her a little bit. So and I've been pinching her neck, but only giving her a little bit of this as I pinch and taking it away. I've done that a little bit, which she's a bit funny out at first, but then was okay. And then we did the same thing, and I got a little toothpick I used um, to put the toothpick in and then. So there's a chance yeah. you might be able to do it. So the problem... 
what I, I, I love what that. Yeah. If you could add a couple of things to your routine with these needle shy horses, have you ever done raising a jugular? When we need to get the vein, a lot of these like sensitive horses, it's when you raise the jugular, they lose it because they know what's coming. So if you can, because you've done it, I'm assuming the neck when we do our IM injections, like vaccinations and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So if you could add in with these a raise of jugular vein and tap along the jugular, that would be amazing. And out of interest, this is the vein that the vet there is talking about. This is the main vein, um, the juggler. Hold off and you can see the vein actually protrude. That's what's going on. The skin pinch and the tapping, and I, I do that with my nervous horses. Yeah. But yeah, so I... I, I, I She's food orientated, which is helpful with her. Yeah. I like bribery. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> works with uh, me too. <laughs> So just be careful, that's oh, all. Oh, no, no, I know. Uh, she's well, very sore, and I'm not sure why. And it's her back stands it. Yeah, she can hardly, she can hardly move. Hello, she says hi. Hi. She says hi. She says, I know you. You're sometimes quite nice to me. I try and make sure my visits with her are as nice as possible. Yeah, so we do cool. lots of cuddling and as minimal fat jabs as possible. Hate me so much is the theory, isn't it? So yeah, just doing this is really difficult. I'm just gonna see if she'll let me use scissors and just snip a bit of hair okay. so I can see what's going on. Okay. So hey, what's that? Do you want me to have that lick yeah. when you do it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's all that is. Just scissors. See, snip, snips. Now that sigh just says a lot about what's going on there at the moment. Um, this vet, has, you know, she knows the horse. I don't think she's ever injected the horse, but she knows the horse. She's got her own horses, and obviously she knows horses. Now I prepared, ready, and I had, you know, I was there doing a job, and I knew what I wanted to do, and I wanted to go back to with the pinch in and just go through that system again and then swap over with the vet. And I think that would have gone really, really, really well. But I could tell, I've learned over the years when to just sit back. And that's what I've just done now. I've kind of passed the reins over. It's not worth me saying, you know, um, I want to do it my way. So I've left it. I'm going with it. I've got my own ideas how I can try and minimise anything that might go wrong. But that's the best policy there, guys, is I've just passed the reins over. It's not worth, you know, clashing over the, over things. And she's obviously a very, very good vet. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. That's it. Oh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. Mm -hmm. It's just so hard seeing horses that are this scared. It's because something horrible has happened and okay. it's just... Okay, we're about to go for the jugular now. I'm just saying, go for the jugular. About to do that now. So what I've done, I, because I've got a feeling this mare, if I didn't kind of do what I'm going to tell you now, would kind of rear and box out and stuff. So, and remember, she, Willow, did attack Dan. It was in an, I wish I'd got that on film. It was in, in an instant and charged at him um, to bite him. Uh, fortunately, he got out of the way and everything was okay. So what I've done, I've asked Charlotte to go behind the gate and I've brought Willow up to the gate and I've got Charlotte there with the feed, okay? She's got the feed there to try and get her mind off, you know, the injection is gonna just take place. So that's what I've done. So she can't, uh, Willow can't go forward and hurt Charlotte because Charlotte would be holding the feed. So that's going to protect Charlotte with the gate. And hopefully things will kind of work out for the best. Oh, okay. Is that the... Um... We've covered up the actual point of injection guys for the video
Good girl. Well done. Uh, let yeah, let her finish that a little bit now. Yeah. And that's all you've got to do? So, that, that, you're not sedating today? Not if I'm not doing dental, no. Oh, okay, of course, yeah. Oh, okay. Is that better than last time? Yeah. She's doing really quite well because I've always just spent time with her. Yeah. And you, you always say hello as well. I don't think she's worried about you. But also, doing dentals with her, I was very happy. Especially if I'm doing things well, is I would say to I am. Are you I'm coming out or are you staying in? I'll come out. Yeah. But I'm telling as soon as she was into this, that was taken over you then. That because she doesn't get obviously she doesn't get feed. Well done. That's amazing. Well done. We'll see you around. Thank you very see you, girly. Much. Right. See you later. See ya. So we're on our way back. Overall, yeah. how do you think this morning went? Yeah. Well, really, no one was hurt. I was really impressed with how she was with you and Dan. I did not expect her to be that good. No, she is good with me and Dan. Yeah. We've got it down to a T. No problem at all. We, we, she knows us. Um, she knows that I don't let her push on me. Everything's good with me and Dan. Now, I think, yeah. right, forgive me. I don't know if you'll agree with me. I think I could have got the injection done. I mean, it got done anyway. She did well to get it in, didn't she? She did well to take the blood. Yeah, but I think... I could have done it maybe a little a bit smoother. a bit smoother without the problem so and if it wasn't I don't think if it, if it wasn't for me being there with the feed that would have gone that well I yeah. mean yes um. so not a bad outcome really managed to take blood I don't know the results there's lots of need sorting out with that mare really isn't there and um, yeah so guys that's the end of the video we are away next week tanya tenerife uh we're in tenerife next week there's a couple of rescues we go into to try and help with and we're going to get a few a few um sunbathing days in no, as well don't, you, don't you will <laughs> um i'm going to go up to mount teed which is still tide, kind tide, of an act tide mount tide um it's still kind of active i'm going to do a blog there and go and uh, ride a horse there as well so it'd be quite a good little video for that so that's next week. Then we get back and we've got, I think, three weeks then until we go off to North Carolina and we've got a big uh, demo going on there. So that'll be, uh, yeah, we are got a lot going on this Still year. Still tickets available for North Carolina. Uh, yeah, North there. Carolina. Guys, uh, get your tickets for that. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to and that. we just announced the Sully Hall on the 13th of July. I know, I've already, that's going well. I've already mentioned that in this video. Okay, that's going really well. Already mentioned that, haven't I guys, earlier. So uh, yeah, okay, happy trials guys. See you Please soon. Please like, share, comment. Like, share, comment. <laughs> we love to read your comments. Thank you. All right, okay.